Okay, so we're going to prove the hill just uh, theorem. We already know, as we said, that uh, that uh, the implication of A to B or to C is already proved with the theorems that we saw. Well, we already know that the C0 semigroup is cool densely defined and that have this bound in the case of uh, lambda real or that it complex. We know the the um a condition for the um, for lambda, the real part, and uh, so now we're going to prove um, that B implies A, B or C are just, just have the differences, only that here we are considering lambda um, complex number, here we just a real number greater than zero, so there is nothing special between um, proving from B to A or C to A. We're going to do from B to A. First of all, taking in account um, what it's so called you see the approximants. So this by definition we can um, speak of sequences of uh, operators A and where N you can think it also as the lambdas. Okay, this uh, shows the approximates can be written also taking in account that A R lambda A. In our case, we have a N here, but it's the same is equal to lambda r um, minus i so using that we will have that this is equal to well n and now we take uh, n r n a minus i so this will be equal to n squared r n a minus n i Okay, so these are the you see the approximates. We already know that this is bounded, so um, a n are bounded operators. And also for each n, uh, um, this operator uh, uh, commute with. With, with, with itself. Okay, so we can consider um, the uniform, uniformly continuous semigroup defined by Tn of T equal to ETAN for T greater than zero. So are uniformly continuous semigroup because these are bounded operators. Okay, so we know that a n converges to a pointwise uh, on on the a. Okay, that's because of the lemma. Okay, this lemma that tells that pointwise in the domain we have that uh, these uh, sequences a n converted to A, okay, this, so we are going to try to prove uh, the following three things that will be helpful to demonstrate that um, B implies A. The three things are, first, T T X will be uh, limit. What is the definition um, of T N T X? And the thing is that this exists for each X in X. Then the second thing is that uh, T T 
um, is a C0 semigroup um, on X and the third is that uh, this uh, semigroup um, has a generator A with the main DA okay okay so first let's see that uh, each TN is a construction semigroup we have that the norm of TN T is going to be equal to the norm of E T a n but each a n we can consider that is a n is this n squared or n a minus n i okay so let's rewrite it that way e t and well let's put here in some way n n squared r r n a minus n i okay norm. So the following step would be to just separate the two cases and uh, so we put the t here and the t here and then separate the norm and we will have that this is less than equal than e minus and t. Okay this part t is greater than zero so here we don't have any problem and uh, then e to the norm of n squared r in a and in the outside we will have uh, the t okay recall here that as uh, this is a a bounded operator we can make this bound let's put it here e t a less than equal than e t a so that's what I was talking about. So now we're going to use this at this part of the hypothesis that R lambda A is less than equal than one, or we can say that lambda is positive, so one of the lambda can go here, then the lambda will be the n. So this will be less than equal than E minus N T E N T and this is equal to one. This is four T greater than zero. And uh, so we have that each Tn or uh, T is a contraction semigroup. Okay, so we have a uniform bound for Tn, and like we did in the lemma, we're just going to prove convergence on Ta proving convergence in dA, in the domain of A, will be enough to prove for every x. Okay. Just to clarify, I will, um, I will just say that um, on bounded subsets, let's write it, on bounded subsets of, uh, of, of bounded, of the um, space of bounded operators, we have that the 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 strong uh, operator topology and let's, let's say what is that because uh, we can say that when we are speaking about a uh, sequences of t alpha six that uh, converges to t x goes to zero okay this for all x like is, it is in our case, okay, because we want that the limit of TNT x goes to TTx for all x. Well, this is the same coincides on bounded subsets of Bx, okay, coincides with uh, the topology of uh, pointwise conversions on a dense set of x. That's why I'm always telling that now we can just uh, 
look for this convergence in PA, in the domain of A. Domain of A is a dense subset of X, so we're going to um, look for pointwise convergence in the A. So, also, we have an, an equivalence also in unbounded sets of of uh, the space of bounded operators that um, let's say if k is in Px then k is bounded um, in the strong operator topology k okay. this will also coincide with k is uniformly bounded. This is something I also said. So when we have a, um, we have the norm of t and it's uh, less than equal for example of a constant c, this is 4 over t in k. Okay, so when we happen to found uh, uh, the operators tt that are uniformly bounded k okay, is the same to say in this case of bounded operators that k is bounded in in the strong operator uh, topology that means that for all x in x and one more thing just to clarify the strong operator topology is the pointwise convergent but in all x okay and this is that we just need the point of conversions on a dense set of x. Okay. Okay. So after all this, um, we are going to apply to this mapping. We we'll take s to t m t minus s t n s of x, because now we know that we just have to be aware of the domain of a. We're going to apply the um, fundamental theorem of calculus to this mapping. Okay, so for this will be for s between zero and t, x will be in the a. That is why we fight for this. It's very important because now we're going to use it. We have a an n in n. And we have to recall that TM, TN are commutative semi groups, and so this is because of uh, the fundamental uh, theorem of calculus applied to this function. This will be equal to integral of 0 T, T, D, S, T, M. T minus S, T N S X. So you know that in T this will be zero, but it will be T and T. And when you apply it to zero, then you will have that this goes apart, and then you will have only this T M T X. Okay. Now we will apply this theorem that uh, the derivative of dttdf is a tta for the other way around. So this will be equal to the integral 0 t of tm t minus s t n s a n x minus a m x t s. So now we put the norm to that. And we will bound, we will have the integral 0 t. This is a this are contraction, so we will only be left with a n x minus a m x. And we already uh, do this, we, we did this bound that I'm going to put now that this, that this is less than equal than t a n x minus a m x norm. By this lemma, the second part, we have that a lambda converges to a then a and x is a Cauchy sequence for each x in domain of a like say, the, the lemma said and so we have that t and t x converges uniformly on each interval 0 t 0 so that proves the first one